Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, though you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. We have the Moon, Pisces energy there, but yeah, there's a lot they haven't said to you and it's weighing on them. We've got the Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, wow, double Pisces here. So some of you could um, have Pisces in your chart. You could be dealing with the Pisces. If you are cross-watching for a Cancer, you might be the Pisces. Um, but, you know, that aside, Pisces energy, um, intuitive. We've got deep emotion here. Um, there's a lot more they're thinking, feeling, imagining, daydreaming about than they're letting on to you, Cancer. Um, okay, let's see. We have the Hermit, Virgo. So I feel the person you're dealing with is very reserved, introspective, six of pentacles reversed if this is someone who didn't um give equally in the past if there wasn't equal give and take this is something that weighs on them heavily you know the memory of this we've got the three of wands and we have the ten of cups reversed for some of you i feel they're looking at you as being this nine of pentacles figure here and you're looking forward, you're interested in moving forward, you might even be moving on from them, that's how they could perceive this. You might be, you might not be, it might just be that you're moving forward in other areas and they're assuming that means you're moving on from them. But you're interested either way in the future, you don't want to think about the past only, you're in the present, you want to plan for your future, you want to build for your future, you're not interested in looking back. And um, this person is, is believing that you feel that way, whether your future includes them, um, or not this here this is someone who feels that their happiness is with you and they also 100 percent take responsibility for the fact that um they feel this they've been thinking this but they haven't been moving forward they haven't been approaching you they haven't been taking action here um they have all of this knowledge about how important you are to them within it's something they think about a lot but they don't share it with you so how are you supposed to know um let me have a look at this Ten of Wands, Six of Coins reversed. Thoughts and feelings, please, of this person. Yes, Nine of Cups in reverse. So as I said, in the past, if they weren't as forthcoming, and I still don't think they are being, um, they know that that brought them their own misery, in a sense. Let's look at the Nine of Coins, Three of Wands. How are they seeing Cancer at this time? What? Eight of Swords? Uh, okay, that makes sense. Wheel of Fortune, the Empress in reverse. So we've got Sagittarius energy here. We also have Taurus and Libra. Okay, so they feel that um, you've been confused about them, about this situation, and that you, in the past, have been kind of frozen by it, trapped, feeling like you want to move forward, but you want to move forward with this person, and you can't move forward until you've got clarity. You don't know which direction to go in, or you want to make moves, but you've been holding back because of this. So that's how they've seen you in the past, but now you're moving on. You're, you're done with that. Um, you're done with that cycle, being in that place. So whether they jump on, you know, they get on board or not, you're moving forward. Why is the Empress reversed? I mean, this could definitely be you nurturing yourself, taking time for yourself. But the initial feeling I got was that you might, they think that you might be moving forward, but you're going to be disappointed or sad because you've moved forward without them. So I do wonder if there's a degree of arrogance actually coming from this person. The world, yeah, moving forward, moving on. We've got the Hierophant, so we've got double Taurus here, Six of Cups. Wow, Cancer, this person, they've got a bit of an, e <clears throat> excuse me, of an ego. It's like they don't want me to say it. I'm trying to say the word ego, but it won't come out because they feel that if you move forward after you're done with celebrating all of the new shiny things in your life, you're going to look back and be sad that you're not with them. That even if you move into a commitment, a serious commitment with the Hierophant, that, you know, Six of Cups, you're going to long for them. So but maybe this is arrogance or maybe it's fact, maybe it's true, maybe they believe this because they feel the same about you. So this is just something they're assuming because the initial spread didn't really seem or feel that there was so much arrogance. Um, so take that, how that resonates with your person, you know, do you hear that message and you're rolling your eyes and you're thinking typical, they're so full of themselves, or do you just feel like, yeah, this is an intuitive person, so they understand that I would feel some regret as well. Um, but they do see that you're moving forward, so why don't they get a move on? Let's have a look at their action, because, well, look, Page of Wands. 
It's like they know you make them happy. They want to reveal all of these deep thoughts they've had. They see that you're saying, you know what? I'm thinking about my future now either way. So I would assume the logical conclusion is they need to get a move on so that they can be a part of your future and actually express some of these deep things that they've been realizing and thinking about. I don't know if for some of you there's something um, that is slightly outside of your person's usual expectations or frame of reference um, or something for them that doesn't seem traditional or conventional about this relationship or about the, the situation around you both. Um, something maybe they didn't consider and in the past they may have rejected it because of that. You know, this doesn't look how I... It doesn't look a way that I'm used to it looking. It doesn't look how I expected it to. So it won't make me happy or I don't want it. They've had a new perspective on this now. Um, so let's say they always thought they would be with someone who was either two years older or two years younger, had the same kind of background, lived in the same place, and suddenly they meet you and there's an age gap and you're living in different countries. So one of you's got to move or, do you know, whatever it is, there's something here for some of you that, um, it wasn't what your person was expecting and they may have rejected this initially because of that. Um, but they're seeing it differently now. Okay, so action that this person's likely to take. We've got the Four of Cups. Wow, okay. We've got the Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, and this Four of Cups. And one of the cups does have wine in. I do wonder if this is someone who does a bit of um, numbing. It doesn't have to be drinking, drinking alcohol. It could be anything, but... Um, I wonder if this person has a habit of doing something to distract themselves but then when they do that thing it really gets them to sit in their feelings and they end up reflecting even more about you knight of swords reverse so there's you know them wanting to, to talk to you we've got the knight of wands reverse taking action just almost doing it without overthinking it but it's reversed Four of Pentacles reverse. This is someone clearly, clearly who wants to just open up and just do it. Um, but they hold themselves back. So, so far, the action I'm seeing this person taking is imagining themselves doing all of this. Like I said, this is a dreamer. Um, this is someone who has a rich inner world. This is someone who thinks a lot, but then doesn't really express what they've been thinking about to others. Um... So this is someone who literally envisions themselves saying to hell with it, you know, and just coming towards you, speaking their truth, opening up. Um, but but it's just in their head. It's like, you know, when you're watching a movie and something crazy is happening, you're like, no, I can't believe it. I can't believe that person died and this happened. And then, you know, suddenly we realise, oh, it was all a dream. It's that kind of feeling. And you're like, oh, what a cop out, you know? Um all going on in their head okay action this person's going to take please action this person's likely to take towards cancer we have the star wishing hoping We've got aquarius energy there we have the magician gemini eight of cups reverse so a focus and emphasis on this two of cups connection also if they pulled away emotionally this is someone who is saying um, i want to reconnect with you emotionally Gosh, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So I have to say, Cancer, you know, this reading is obviously really just sort of for whenever you find this the next couple of weeks out or so. But I will say for those next couple of weeks, it looks like this person will not be making any moves. You know, this we start here. This guy has got his arms folded. He's deep in thought. Knight of Pentacles reversed is no movement, no action. So what they're going to do is be thinking about you wishing for you even trying to manifest you from a distance a lot dreaming up all of these amazing brilliant crazy scenarios in their head but not actually taking action on it in the 3d towards you what would this person say to cancer if um they were to live out these fantasies clarify this knight of swords reversed please Oh, Two of Cups. You see, there we go. With the Two of Pentacles reversed. This is someone who would basically say to you, you're my person. Can we make a go of this? Can we date? Can we be in a relationship? Can we move this forward? Can we ground this? So it's not even a big, crazy, complicated thing. I wonder why they're so stuck in their head. Let's see. Four of Cups. 
Why don't they just open up and speak this truth? Three of Wands reverse. There could be something in your life, in their life, or both, that's making them feel like there's a huge obstacle. And this future that they want, that they imagine, it couldn't really happen at this time. So they're kind of saying, well, what's the point in torturing ourselves with these conversations if we can't act upon them? Yes, Six of Cups reverse. So there's something that needs to be dealt with first, they're saying. Five of Pentacles in reverse before they can connect with you here and express themselves. So that's fine. I understand that, but I'm not sure they're taking the action to, to make this change, if it is something on their side, at least not right now. Wow, so, you know, if this is your reading, you're going to know it, because this is someone who thinks, um, let's say they share one thing with you, previously they've had thoughts about, you know, a hundred things, and it's just the one thing they'll share, they think so much more than they express. I wonder as well, you know, if this is, this feels like a, a huge personality trait and it's not just something that they do in regards to you and your connection. I think throughout their life, this is someone who's built up a very, very rich, multi-layered, complex inner world. But if they think about the actions they've actually taken, taken externally in life, in the 3D, you know, actually gone and done things, it's probably quite limited by comparison. So this is someone who might actually be holding on to some regrets. Oh, I wish I'd have taken that trip. I wish that I'd have accepted that offer, that opportunity. I wish I'd have been brave enough to do such and such. Or it could also just be someone who really enjoys just you know, spending time by themselves, fantasizing, daydreaming, imagine, imagining. Um, this could be someone who's very, very creative as well, in one way or another. Okay, so let's get some messages to you from this person. Will you please send me messages via social media? But let me know you're still thinking of me. I'm going through a hard time and need to know you're not going anywhere. Okay, so they're very open to you initiating contact with them. Um, as I said, this does feel like quite an introspective, imaginative, sensitive person. So, um, you know, if they are going through a hard time, I think it would be very warming for them to know that you haven't completely moved on into this future without them. Um, I do wonder, this energy feels so fixed and stuck almost, if this is because they're going through something else right now. So with that three of wands reverse, they're saying, this is not the time for me to move this forward. Um, because an energy this fixed, it, it cannot last long just because of, of, you know, even if we don't want to change, things change around us. Um, even if we want things to stay stuck in this sort of a way or fixed, they, they just don't. Oh my goodness, will you marry me? I'm serious. So maybe that's what they would tell you with that two of cups and the uh, two of coins reversed. Um, I've been putting mess I've been putting out messages publicly that are meant for your eyes only. I hope you're getting them. Please keep a lookout for any memes, stories, posts, or songs because I'm trying to let you know you're on my mind. <sighs> you really are on their mind a lot. Um, yeah, so they could be these could be even their own stories or song lyrics or, or you know drawing something like that. Um, but yes, if they are communicating, it's in a very covert. Um, I'm hearing riddle, like it's almost like you have to unpack it, it's not direct. Okay, let's see, we have, if I haven't said it yet or in a while, I love you. So yeah, they do have very deep feelings here. I know I made a huge mistake. You are never far from my mind, well that's true. really was me not you the thought of you still does things to me I was reminded of your scent recently and I always feel with this card if they don't know what you wear like perfume aftershave that sort of thing um, it could be something that makes them think of you like a particular um, smell or a kind of flower or something like that Or if you said, you know, I really love everything that smells like vanilla or something like that. Our connection still affects me. I need more time to figure things out. No, no, you really don't. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. Maybe they do. 
Um, maybe they are going through something in particular at this time. Um, I don't think I can take your reaction right now. Okay. So let's see a message of guidance for you, Cancer. We have unicorn. Wow. So there could be a connection to Scotland here. Indulge your creative, imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression. OK, so also getting creative could be very helpful here. Um, I wonder if the both of you are very creative. I wonder if you met doing something um, that's creative in nature. And it doesn't have to be something so obvious like, oh, yes, we both go to a drawing class together or something like that. It could be that um, you're both mathematicians and you were working on a complex um, mathematical problem together and you took, you know, you both took a very creative approach. It could be anything really here. Um, but yeah, they clearly they're very, very creative, very, even if it's just that they create these very rich detailed scenarios in their head. In fact, that could even be how they're manifesting because, you know, when we visualize, it's all about adding in the details. So it seems believable. This is something this person does naturally. And I wonder if you're all very creatively inclined in one way or another as well which is really really lovely but then um you know you could sort of feel sometimes that it's like one of you needs to give that push and to start making this you know like a bit of um fire energy or earth energy you know um to kind of ground all of this deep water that i'm feeling here whether this person is a water sign as well or not um but yeah so indulge your creative side whatever that means to you whatever that looks like to you um that could be very helpful at this time okay so i will leave this here thank you so much cancer i hope this helped and i'll see you soon bye